One of the men who is on his way home is Pastor Abdid Saeed Abedini. We have followed his story closely since he was arrested in Iran back in 2012 while on a trip home to see his extended family and work on an orphanage. Live pictures right now from Geneva showing what is the charter jet that brought these folks home or on their way home now to Geneva. We believe Saeed Abedini is on that plane. His supporters say he was jailed for no other reason than his Christian faith. His wife, Nahmed Abedini, has worked tirelessly for her husband's release and joins us on the phone from her home in Boise, Idaho. As you are looking at that live picture, Nahmed, of the jet carrying your husband finally out of Iran after more than a thousand days behind bars, give us uh, your emotions right now. Appreciate all of your uh, support throughout the years and all the coverage and keeping Saeed's story alive and uh, keeping the pressure. It's, uh, I, I was just watching the jet. I know they're in another plane right now uh, getting to depart for Germany. And uh, it's it tears. I just, he's out. He's out of that um, Iranian territory. And uh, to be back in a safe place in Switzerland is just, uh, I couldn't stop my tears. And we're ready to welcome him home. I'm getting ready to fly out to Germany to be able to see him. And um, we're really excited. The kids are making welcome home signs and uh, they're besides themselves. They can't believe it. It's just such a shock. We're all still in a shock that this is just. This day has finally come. Well, Nagme, I know you're you're so excited. I can hear it in your voice. Give give us a sense. Uh, have you heard from him at all? Have you talked to him and his his spirits right now? No, I've I've heard that once in Germany, which could be in the next hour, um, there's a quick uh, medical evaluation that might take a couple hours, and um, somewhat sometimes the next few hours, I should be able to hear from him. Oh, that that would be an amazing phone call. Hey, it's Elizabeth. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. As we've been talking, it's been more than a thousand days that you've been reunited with your husband. Looking forward, how as a family do you reintegrate your husband back into daily life? What are you looking forward to the most? Well, it's been um, three and a half years since we've seen him. Um, there's been a lot of changes, so I'm sure say in his physical and psychological health and um, our family has you know, we have been uh, separated for three and a half years. So there's a lot of readjustment. There's a lot of healing that needs to happen. And, uh, you know, it's a time for our family to heal and to move forward. And uh, I think it's a new season of uh, uh, getting uh, one again as a family and, and healing something with the past and uh, moving forward. Nagme, is there, is, does he have a favorite meal? Is there anything from the United States you're going to bring with you to Germany that you know he's going to want as soon as possible? Oreos, cupcakes, anything in particular? You know, I he loves seafood. One of the things we spoke uh, about before was uh, he want to have seafood as soon as he's out. Um, I was I was thinking of taking some of his favorite uh, out clothes and uh, the comfortable clothes that he'd always like, so just something that he could feel at home um, before he comes home is what I've been thinking about, but I don't know, I, I think uh, getting back to the U.S. and having um, American food is, is something that he's longed for for a long time. We can understand that. You said your children are making welcome home signs for you, uh, or for him rather. Tell me a little bit about when you first got that phone call yesterday. and. And what went through your head and your heart, and then also relaying it to your children? What was that like? Uh, well, I, I, early in the morning, I think it was six my time, mountain time, that uh, people were messaging me saying Iranian media has released information that the four prisoners were released. And uh, a government had tried to keep it quiet uh, for their uh, safety. But uh, once that news came out, I was able to confirm with State Department that, that they were uh, released and that they were uh, at the Swiss Embassy. And once that was confirmed, I, uh, when I hung up the phone, I uh, woke up the kids. It was uh, 7, 7.30 in the morning. And I said, Daddy's out of jail. And they couldn't <laughs> believe it. They jumped up. It was so early oh. that uh, they just didn't care. They jumped up and they were dancing. The, whole, the house was busy. And, loud all day yesterday so we're so excited well live and now after so long you all have had something to celebrate some incredible news Nagme. 
It was interesting if you watched President Obama earlier today. He talked about his meeting with you and with the family members of some of the other folks that had been held in Iran as well. And he said that I made this solemn vow to do everything possible to bring uh, their family members home. And what I'm interested in from you is, is you look back on that meeting. Was that a turning point for you? And as you now look forward and seeing what's happened, you have any thoughts for the president as, as he clearly lived up to that promise? It was. That was the turning point, and um, I remember when I, we did interviews after that, uh, there was a new sense of hope in me because I could see in his eyes. He said, we will get them out. It might take t some time, and he mentioned the Cuban prisoner, but he said, it might take time, but we will get them out, and uh, it's, it's a high priority. And at that time, I knew that the president um, uh, would do everything to try to get them out, and it took a lot of media, and it took a lot of pressure for uh, it was months and months after Saeed's imprisonment before we got anything, any statement from the uh, State Department. But it took a lot for the ball to start rolling. But once it did, the last year has been amazing, from updates from the White House to the State Department, keeping us on, in the loop with discussions that they are having, they were having with the Iranians, the possibility of uh, prisoner exchange had come up. Those things, we were aware of things happening in the last year, where in the other years we were more blind. We, we were not as uh, there was not as much of a good communication as, as before. But since the last year, we were uh, there was continuous updates of how they were still con continuing to work uh, on site release and on other American release. Well, uh, it's a great day for you. Your husband is a lucky man uh, to have you as a wife who fought so tirelessly. Never said no to an interview and worked so hard uh, on his behalf. Nagma Abedini, safe travels to Germany, and we look forward to talking to you and your husband uh, when you guys are back safe and sound on U.S. soil. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back. Thank you so much. Godspeed.